Hey gang, Anthony Fontani here. I'm a senior mortgage banker with um, Intercontinental Capital Group. And I'm gonna address a question that has been coming up uh, on occasion. Actually, it's come up on this uh, in this group and it just came up in an open house that I was hosting with one of my realtor partners today. Uh, and it, it revolves around federal tax liens. You know, the amazing thing about these liens is a lot of people have a lot of misinformation on there. And I'm not just a loan officer. I've been a loan officer and a banker uh, since I'm 17. It's 42 years in the banking industry but I'm also a tax accountant to almost 40 years. So I'm speaking as, I'm putting on my accountant hat right now and I'm gonna just let you know how this whole process works. So if you have a buyer uh, that has it's two different scenarios now, you have a federal, uh, federally insured FHA loan or if you happen to have a conventional loan, slightly different uh, issues here. On an FHA loan, it's a federally insured loan, when I run credit and I see that there's a, uh, that I see that there's a federal tax lien on the file, Obviously, I'm going to address that elephant in the room. But let's just say in the conversation that I have with my buyer, or if I'm looking, or your buyer, I should say, and if I'm looking at, say, a tax return, and I see a, a balance due to IRS from uh, the previous year or previous two years, I'm going to ask them, do they owe IRS? If they say, absolutely not, we've paid everything in full, I will actually ask them to show me the bank statement that shows that that particular lien uh, that, I'm sorry, that particular uh, uh, credit was paid to IRS. That They don't owe. I'm going to make sure that they don't owe it. I don't want it to hit an underwriter 30 days later and then it pops up with, you know, where, where's the invoice that you paid IRS? I will address that. If they say they do owe IRS and they've never talked to IRS about it, they don't know what to do, uh, and I do pull credit and I don't see a lien on the file, I will get them on the phone with IRS within a day. I will have them call, I'll do a three-way phone call with them, and I will make sure that they get a payment arrangement. The amazing thing is about these payment arrangements is they help your buyer out and they keep your deal on track. Why? If we have your buyer with a payment arrangement set up, they only have to make three payments. Now, I've had real to, uh, real to say, oh my God, my guy owes taxes, they have to make three payments, it's gonna take 90 days, it's gonna kill my deal. Fact of the matter is that's absolutely not true. Let's say for example, I pull credit tomorrow, the guy has, there's no lien on his credit report, but we have the conversation and he owes IRS a certain amount of money. Uh, and if he has the money to actually pay down that with a payment arrangement, we will have the conversation, we will get IRS on the phone, we'll arrange for it. I will add the amount that he's paying IRS to his debt ratios. I will actually give him the number that he needs to get approved by IRS to satisfy their requirements, to get it paid off in a certain amount of time, and to satisfy my requirements for debt ratios on my FHA file. So once that's done, then that's all he has to do. He makes a payment with the payment arrangement. That's his first payment. Let's say he makes that first payment on March 15th. He'll make his second payment on time on April 15th. He'll show me proof of that. He'll make his third payment on May 15th. That's the third payment. He gives me proof of that. Guess what? That's 60 days from when I discovered the issue. Now, I don't wait till he goes to contract to do this. We're actually aggressively pursuing this way before he even finds the house. If it's not on credit and he doesn't tell me he owes anything, he says no, but something shows up on the title report that there is, in fact, a tax lien, then all we need to do is we have to arrange for a subordination of that federal tax lien. Once I have the payment arrangement in place and I get the subordination done, that's, that's my process's job, that's my job, we take care of that for the buyer, we give them the forms, we get it faxed over there, we get it done, it does not take months to do it, it takes a couple of weeks, we get it done, you guys are square, your deal's gonna close, we're gonna all go home and everyone gets paid. Now with the conventional file, it's a little different, a conventional file, again, if there is an IRS issue where he owes money, we're gonna get a payment arrangement, but he only has to make one payment on that. How fantastic is that? One payment. That's all he has to do. We'll make sure he makes the payment right on the spot. Get the payment started up. Give me the letter that he actually has the agreement and we're good to go. We get proof of payment. We're fine. The issue with a conventional loan, because it's, it's not a government insured loan, is we cannot uh, accept a federal lien. If there's a lien on his uh, in his name for that tax bill, he has to pay it off. So if an FHA loan versus a conventional loan, two different animals, one has to be paid, conventional, one does not have to be paid off to get the loan closed. But I have actually switched people from conventional to FHA, if it meant getting a deal done, if my buyer is qualified, if we're able to do it, and everyone's on board with that, and guess what? When you're in contract and you're trying to get your deal closed, you'll do whatever it takes to get that done. 
Converting him to an FHA loan takes a little bit of effort on our part. Very easy to do. It's a piece of cake. So I hope this helps a little bit. Uh, you know, and understand as a loan officer, we actually look for this stuff in the beginning. We ask these questions. We focus on the solutions when the problem uh, is brought up. We don't wait until you're 60 days into a deal or 45 days into a deal and say, oh, by the way, there's a lien. We're screwed. We can't get it done. We will help you get this pro uh, process taken care of. And this little information here, I hope you use it. There's a lot of misinformation out there. I, I see all these all these posts and things about it. Um, it's absolutely a doable situation. It's not the end of the world. In fact, it's actually not a big deal, quite frankly. So with that, I hope that helps a little bit, and have a great night.